Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. It's a very grey and gloomy day outside today. It's very rainy, there's a lot of rain coming, but I still wanted to pick up my camera and film like a cozy day in the life video. I will be going out into the garden to do a few things, maybe do some baking, and I also need to film another video and sort out my seeds for what I'm planting for spring. So that's going to be a little bit of this video. I am just getting back into the swing of filming things because we um, just got back from a holiday. We went back up to Brisbane to visit Scott's family and my family uh, went to a wedding, had an amazing time. I do post a lot more on my Instagram these days. I'm trying to get better at it uh, and post at least one or two things a day, particularly on my stories. So if you're not following my Instagram, I will put it here for you. Another exciting thing that I mentioned in my other video, um, but I'll talk about it here again quickly, and that is that Diane and I have started a podcast and there are a few episodes that are already out for you to listen. Because a lot of our viewers are on YouTube, we decided to do like a visual version as well as the audio. So there is a YouTube channel as well as you can find the podcast on wherever you listen to podcasts. It's called Earthly Roots or Earthly Roots Podcast on Instagram and YouTube. And I've really been enjoying the conversations that we've been having. Um, it's a form of content that we don't usually do or, you know, do longer form videos here on YouTube. So it's really nice just to chat and have like a proper conversation without lots of editing and you know feeling like we are just talking and talking and talking which is the point of a podcast so um if you're interested i'll leave all of those links in the description box and i would love it if you would go and subscribe to our youtube page and if you do listen i would love to hear your thoughts let me know what you would like us to chat about because we are more than happy to create conversations and create content that you would like to see. So any topics, leave them in the comments. I have a running list of topics that we'd like to cover as well as any feedback that you might have. That would be greatly appreciated. Before I get started with my day and make my breakfast, I need to show you these gorgeous ranunculus that my mum picked. Um, she was house sitting for us while we were gone and they kind of flopped over in some of the winds that we had, but these are the Bianco Sformato ranunculus and oh my goodness I love ranunculus I didn't think I I would love them this much but they last so long in a vase and they're just so beautiful they're just so romantic and I just love them I know I've been calling them romantic like in every single video but if you can grow ranunculus I would highly highly recommend Scott's just gone to the bakery so I might actually have some fresh sourdough bread for breakfast. Hi, Annie. You ready for some sourdough? Don't you want to say hi to the camera? Everyone misses you. Maybe not everyone, but the cats definitely missed us while we were gone. Didn't you? She's been such a good girl. She gets very anxious when we do leave. I think she has a bit of separation anxiety. But who doesn't these days? I am making oats, but I just wanted just one piece because nothing beats fresh sourdough bread. I don't think I've ever really shown our kitchen before. <laughs> the colors in it are not quite my taste, but we are going to be renovating it probably early next year sometime. But for now it's fine. It's very like, what era would you say this is, Scott? 70s? 70s. 70s? You know, we're rocking the uh, the lime green right now. But I am hoping to have a nice, bright, beautiful kitchen one day where I can film lots of recipe videos. This kitchen is very difficult to film in, so you just get a few shots of the chopping board for now. Where's my feet? Not anymore. All right, 
right before it rains again, I am just going to pick a few flowers out in the garden, make the most of them. Um, they're probably going to need to dry off a little bit, but we'll see what we can get. So with ranunculus blooms, they're really long lasting in a vase. But I like to pick them when they're slightly open or like this and they'll open up a little bit more um, in the vase. This here, this one here is probably a little bit too closed. Same with this one. You can also pick them if they've opened and closed, you know, after a few days. Um, so I'm just going to come along and just pick a few and see what we get. There's lots of yellows. Like these ones I know have been open for quite a while. So I'm going to pick these. See, they're getting a little bit brown. I think I don't think they've really enjoyed a lot of the rain that we've been having. But they're still very pretty. growing a lot of flowers but it's really sad when you have to cut off some blooms that are unopened but with floristry you want to have the longest stems as possible and sometimes you have to cut off the blooms which is sad but I have so many other blooms here so I'm just wanting to get a little bit longer stems just to practice where and how to cut these plants. In the end, I would really love to have bunches where I can wrap them and to wrap them, I really need to have them with really long stems and that means having some of these full blooms on them. But for today, I'm just going to make a little jar posy and just practice coming out here and cutting flowers and getting used to this process. Ignore the big asparagus weed. It's on my list, it's on my to-do list, but I'm just gonna grab a few of these, which I'm not too sure what they are, but they're very pretty. This is what I have to work with. I am going to pop the camera down. Well, Scott's gonna pop the camera down. Uh, and I'm going to figure out what I can create and then I will show you the finished product. I kind of just wanna do it without the camera just so I can focus and learn. It's, it's a learning process for me, but I will definitely show you what the end product looks like. Alright, this is what the bunch of flowers looked like that I put together. It is super colourful, super rainbow and I think pretty much encapsulates spring in my opinion. I love all of the different colours. I love the crema ranunculus, the one in the middle there and all of the bright pinks and yellows. It's so vibrant. 
and absolutely beautiful is going to look really pretty inside. I am actually going to go inside and film an update on the flower farm, an update uh, what's happening, how I'm feeling, how much money I've spent, all of that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I still don't have like a lot that is flowering that is at the stage where it can be harvested, but these ranunculus are so pretty. Um, and I think look really great with the bottle brush leaves just to give a little bit more green and happiness in a bunch of flowers I think. <laughs> so because it's still raining I am going to head back inside, film the video and then I need to edit the video and I'm not too sure what else I'm going to get up to today but I will definitely take you along with me. Right, I am done filming. This was my filming setup. Pretty fairy lights. Oh, I always feel like I need a break or like a lie down after I film long chatty videos, but I filmed the flower farm update, which was good. I do need to go and get a few more shots outside just to kind of like overlay um, the of what I'm saying so it makes sense and you can have a little bit more visuals. I think I'm going to go up and make some lunch and then I think I want to bake something. Like I've really been craving like a lemon cake or lemon and passion fruit cake and I have, or at least I think I have the ingredients so I might make that. And then I'm going to head out to the garden and I don't really have too much to do but there are a few um, like seedlings that I would like to propagate and yeah just have a nice relaxing afternoon. Okay I think that I'm actually going to instead of propagating some of the snapdragons that are definitely on my list but instead I really want to make the most of the calendulas that are flowering and pick some of those to dry them. I have quite a few ready in the garden. I have like a little patch down there and a few other areas. So I think I might spend a little bit of time just picking some of those on a tray to dry them. One of the things that I would like to do as like an add on to flowers is like calendula balm and also bath salts. And with the bath salts, I would love to um, have dried flowers from the garden. So I am starting to just pick what I can and dry what I can to add to different bath salts um, and yeah right now the calendulas are ready so I may as well pick some of those and dry them. to always leave a few for bees. just start with this little tray here and just keep these in a dry area let them dry and then I will pick the petals off and then just store them in an airtight container calendula is definitely one of those plants where the more flowers you pick the more flowers you get 
So I always make sure that I regularly harvest the flowers and don't let too many of them go to seed before I'm done with the plant. They're a really great plant uh, to have in the garden, bring in beneficial pollinators uh, and they can help to attract aphids, to draw aphids away from other plants. Some people don't like the smell of them but I absolutely adore them and I really enjoy making my calendula balm with them and I just think they're a really nice, bright, happy, cheerful flower. So I think unfortunately it's starting to get pretty cloudy again. I wanted to do a few more things in the garden but one thing I will show you before I head on in is how my cuttings are going. I've had a few people ask to do an update and this is the hydrangea cuttings. They look a little bit sad and this is what happens when you do cuttings. Um, they tend to look worse before they look better but I do see some really healthy new growth on a lot of these cuttings. There's one here that may not have made it but all of the rest of them they've lost like their bigger leaves which is fine they're not they're not putting energy into producing those leaves they're putting energy into the roots. I'm hesitant to take them out oh I do see a slug underneath that I will get rid of that one goodbye see you later but yeah these ones are looking great so I know that at least four of them may have taken I'll update you in a few weeks and see how the rest of them go as for the lavender similar story they look really great and something else you can tell um, about cuttings and whether they've taken or not is just how sturdy they are these are feeling really nice and sturdy and upright which means they're probably putting energy into producing roots um, yeah I'm really happy with how these are going you can see they're all not flopping over if the cuttings didn't work they wouldn't be looking like this they would be flopped over and dead on their way out uh, but yeah these are looking really great so Overall, I am pretty happy on how my cuttings are going and I actually see so many new shoots now that I'm looking at it closely on all of this lavender. You can see those tiny little shoots there. So yeah, hopefully I will get quite a few more lavender plants that were free from the other very sad lavender plant that I have. So yeah, really happy. Actually, before I do go inside, there is one more thing I'll chat about feeling very chatty today um, but I did plant my dahlia tubers the other day my mum helped me because she's a little bit more experienced than I am with planting them but I did order a few from the seed collection and I probably should have planted them a little bit sooner um, obviously we went away on holiday and I just I didn't have time to plant them so they were sitting there and some of them had kind of started growing which isn't ideal but I still popped them in some pots and the way I'm doing this is I am just planting them in pots first going to let them sprout see how they go and then I'll plant them out into the ground just to make sure that the tubers are okay um, now it has started raining weird because the sun's out um, but yeah I basically just put some potting mix a little bit of dynamic lifter and some worm castings just in with the potting mix for them to grow up and sprout hopefully they'll do okay in that um, I'm really excited to see how they go if they don't go okay that's fine uh, it's a learning experience for me but yeah I planted them about like 10 centimeters deep in the pots and I'll see how long they take to sprout yeah I think I got two orange varieties and a pink one and yeah I'm excited to see how they go but yeah I've got three in there and then I have a whole packet of seed so dahlia seeds are very different to dahlia tubers where the tubers they grow true to the variety that you buy seeds can be anything so it'll be a surprise and I'm excited to try both but now is definitely the time to get the dahlia seeds in. I've been putting it off, but I really need to do that. So yeah, that'll be next, next week's job. I've got a busy weekend and then we'll do that next week. I'm not too sure if I am going to film much else for today. Uh, I just wanted to kind of, yeah, do a little vlog, check in with you all, say hi, get used to talking to the camera again, um, which yeah, cause I felt like I haven't done that in a while actually. Um, yeah, it was really nice and I think I may go and bake a cake though. I think that's something that I will spend my afternoon doing as well as lots of emails, lots of admin work. Um, but yeah, I feel like the, the busy season is starting. 
oh, it's just so busy with all of the birds and the flowers around. Um, yeah, and then I need to also focus on all of the food that I want to be growing. So I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed, but I'm just trying to take it day by day and just do a few things here and there each day. But I just wanted to say just a massive thank you for you all for following me on this journey and watching my videos. It just honestly really means the world to me. All of the lovely comments that I get, you are all so, so lovely and beautiful. And, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy watching my videos that they can be, you know, either educational or just enjoyable to watch because I love sharing the garden with anyone who would like to see this kind of garden content. It was a cute little sun shower. Kind of glad it didn't last any longer because we definitely don't need any rain. Um, but anyway, I'm going to head inside Play with the cats might take some photos this afternoon for patreon and instagram and have a nice relaxing afternoon enjoying this little bit of sunshine that we have so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you're all having a lovely day wherever you are in the world make sure to like this video it really does help me out to know what kind of content that you would like to see and until my next one happy gardening everyone bye